Hey, uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you. That's right. Do you need something? No, I, I just want to let you know. It looks like your left tire is loose. Really? Yeah. Emily? Yes? How do you know my name? I'm sorry. We've never met. I, I know your sister. I know her husband. I've only met Allison a few times, but I recognize you from the family photos. You're not going up there now, are you? I am. Well, it's really nice to meet you, Emily. I think you might be my blind date. What? John and Allison invited me up here this weekend to set me up with someone. And <laughs> lucky you, I think they chose you to be my victim. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have some tools in my car, and I think I can tighten up that wheel. Sure, Mr. Mechanic. I'll be quick. Do you need any help? Don't worry, I got it. You're all set. <gasps> Sorry if I spooked you before. The truth is this road is pretty creepy. I say that. Just stories. Well, drive safe, and I'll see you soon. Wait, I didn't get your name. I'll tell you when we get there. I guess I'm not the world's greatest mechanic. Here's a thought. We're both doing the same place. So why don't I just give you a ride to your sisters? It's a bit forward coming from a man I just met. My intentions are purely dishonorable, I assure you. Well, what am I supposed to do? Just leave my car on the side of the road? You can call a tow truck when you get to your sisters. Consider it our pre- I'm James, by the way. It's nice to meet you, James. What are you going to do? Stand there, in the road, in the cold, waiting for a tow truck? I'm just going to grab my stuff. So do you make a habit of this? What? Picking up random girls in the middle of the night on strange roads. You're only the fifth or six this week. I don't know. They all, they all blur together. So. You're so dumb. You have. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Well, you said earlier there were rumors about this road. It's nothing. It's like anything else. The shadows of the trees makes people's imaginations run wild. Well, all right. There are two legends about what occurred on Sweet Hollow Road. Supposedly, on prom night, Amy and her boyfriend pulled over on a stretch of Sweet Hollow Road for a little after prom romance. This is cut short, however, when her boyfriend raped her and killed her with a hatchet and dumped her body into the woods. The rumor goes that Amy haunts the road in the woods, looking for anyone that will help her. The boyfriend became known as the Hatchet Man, and no one ever knew what became of him. So what's the second legend? The second one revolves around a police officer named Carl Abbott who was pursuing a bank robber that was led onto this stretch of Sweet Hollow Road. The bank robber got out of his car and ran to the woods, and Carl proceeded to go after him. But Carl didn't make it. The bank robber got away after shooting Carl in the head. Shortly after, a young couple who was on their way back from their honeymoon got pulled over by a cop, and they weren't speeding, and they weren't doing anything wrong, so they didn't know why. The cop asked them a couple questions, and then let them go with a warning. The couple was about to drive off, and the cop turned around and walked back to his car. The couple noticed blood 
oozing from the back of his head in the same place that the fatal bullet exited Carl's skull. Stop! That's not funny! You're such a jerk! Oh. I'm gonna see if I can get some service. My sister's probably getting worried. Hey, Emily. How far away are you? Hey, Ellie. It's been a bit of a rough night. My car broke down. Are you serious? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just, fortunately, a handsome stranger came to my rescue. Wait, what? James gave me a ride after he saw my car break down. You know, I thought it was just going to be me and you this weekend. Hold on, who's James? <laughs> very funny. You know, I've told you a million times that I do not need help finding someone. But with John's childhood friend, I mean, come on. Emily. Yes? What are you talking about? <laughs> shut up, seriously, come on. No, shut up, it is just me and you this weekend. Are you really driving with someone? Is this a joke? It's not funny if it is. It's really not funny. I need you to pull over. I feel sick. I need you to pull over. Pull over? Where are we going? I swear to God, pull you over! I swear to God. You can't imagine the things we're gonna do to you. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you because I don't want to ruin the surprise. I promised you a blind date after all. Ma'am, you okay? Ma'am, you shouldn't be around here so late. It's not safe. You have to listen to me. There's someone after me. He's trying to kill me. Have you been drinking tonight? No. No, I haven't. Please. All right. Okay. I just want you to stay calm. I'm gonna go call this in. Hold tight. No, no, no. You can't just leave me here. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> Eleven fifty-eight, guys. The witching hour is directly upon us. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast as much as we've loved making it. Lots of strange sounds, creepy stories, and uh, good company. Stick with us through the witching hour. Kind of wish something weirder would have happened, but uh, I guess you guys are weird enough for me anyway. <laughs> What's next? It's almost here. Emma, you really didn't hear that scream? I heard it. It was Emma. Emma, this isn't funny. Um, is she drunk? Emma's dead. You'll all be dead too.
Emma, Nathan, Danny. I don't want to die. Send help. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>